Brethren, we are going to learn from the Word of God. And the sermon title is The Mystery of Nineveh, Part 2, subtitled The Great City. And it's taken from the book of Jonah, chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Yes. Arise. Yes. Go unto Nineveh. Yes. That great city. Yes. And preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. Go unto Nineveh, that great city, yes. and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So in Jonah chapter 1, verse 1 and 2, Jonah had been, had been, had been commissioned, had been sent by God to go and preach to Nineveh. And then he is being sent again the second time. Uh, to that great city, uh, the city of Nineveh. So that is where our subtitle is, copy, is coming from, the great city. So we want to, to, to have a look at the mystery uh, regarding that great city, is the mystery of Nineveh. In part one, we looked at the, the mystery of Nineveh, and uh, the subtitle was the elect, and we discovered that in all these years, we've been reading about Nineveh in the book of, in the book of John. We, we never realized that uh, when the, 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 the Bible says that 100% of the Ninevites were saved, once they were Gentiles during the time of the law, mm -hmm. in the dispensation of the law, mm -hmm. they were saved after a Jew preached to them. We never realized that Nineveh had been given a task by God to play the drama of the elect. Yes. And we did see by the grace of God that Nineveh was representing the city of the elect. Yes. The elect, all of them that are written in the book of, li of life will be saved. And that drama was portrayed by the Ninevites and yes. Jonah played a drama of Christ. It was just an amazing a discovery uh, in the scriptures uh, because of the grace of God. Yes. Jonah chapter 1, yes. verses 1 and 2. Now, the word of the Lord yes. came unto Jonah, yes. the son of Amittai, yes. saying, Arise, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, yes. And cry against it. Yes. For their wickedness is come up before me. Yes. Yes, three. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish. From the presence of the Lord. Yes. And went down to Joppa. Yes. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. Yes. So he paid the fare thereof. Yes. And went down into it. Yes. To go with them to, unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. Now that is very interesting. We did look at this l last week. Yes. Jonah has been sent to Nineveh. Yes. Mm. But he has gone to Tarshish. Yes. And we did realize that Nineveh from Joppa was only 800 kilometers yes. Yes. to the right. Mm. But Jonah decides to go to Tarshish, which was 4,000 kilometers to the left. Yes. And during my shrine days, uh, we used to say that Jonah was a mad prophet. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason, <laughs> we used to say Jonah was a mad prophet, and we used to sing a, a song that goes like this. this. This this is back in my days when I lived in 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 in, in Bulawayo. Who Jonah, I'm to my enemy. Vau Jonah, I'm to my enemy. Vau Jonah, I'm to my enemy. Vau was a con de ta shi 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 shi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> so we used to call him the made prophet. He yes. was sent to Nineveh by God, mm. but it is regards the instruction of God and goes to Tashish. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, my brethren, that Jonah was not made. Jonah had to go to Tashish first. Yes. Because Jonah was a type of Christ. Yes. Jonah 
was painting a picture of what the Lord was going to do when he comes in the flesh. Yes. yes. So, John are going to Tashish. That was actually the, the road map that God had tabled for the Lord. Yes. And Jonah has got to portray exactly mm. that. Yes. He's got to lay the template mm. that the Lord should follow mm. because he's a type of Christ. Mm -hmm. That's why Jonah went to Tashish. Yes. Matthew chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. Let us see the road map. Let us see the formula that the Lord had already put in. Yes. When he sent our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I know yes. that the Lord was, se was sent to the elect yes. to go and save the elect, yes. but he's got to go to Tarshish first. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew chapter 10, verses 5 and 6. Yes. yes. These 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, What did the Lord command them? Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Go not to the Gentiles. And into any seat of the Samaritans, do not, ye not. Do not go to the Samaritans. But go rather to the lost sheep of Israel, of the house of Israel. Go to Israel first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> go to Tashish <laughs> first. <laughs> Hallelujah. What? Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Go to Tashish yes. first. <laughs> Jonah. Yes. But you shall because this is yes. exactly what the Lord is going to do when he comes. Mm. But you shall receive power. Yes. Mm. But you shall receive power. Yes. Mm. After that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Yes. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem. Yes. And in all Judea. Yes. And in Samaria. Yes. And unto and unto the out uttermost part of the earth. Can you see that 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 that's the road map? That is the formula. Yes. <laughs> he is the Lord when he comes. And when he sends, he commissions the apostles. Yes. This, he says these words after his, uh, his re resurrection. Mm. He said, yeah. you, you must go, you must be my witnesses. You will be my witnesses when you receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm. And you will be my, my witnesses in Jerusalem and in the old Judea. Yeah. These are Jewish territories. Yes. Mm. And then in Samaria, after Samaria, you will then go to the utter most parts of the earth, that is the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Yes. So he, he must go to Tashish first. Mm -hmm. The Lord must go to the people of the law first. Yes. And the apostles, when they start the New Testament, in the New Testament dispensation, they must go to the Jews first mm -hmm. before they go to the Samaritans. Yes. And before they go to the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. That is why you find that the first the first resident of the New Testament mm -hmm. we know is the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. yes. when he was resurrected. Mm -hmm. But the first people to walk into the New Testament mm -hmm. were his apostles. Mm -hmm. Together with the other disciples mm -hmm. who followed the Lord from Galilee. Yes. You find this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Yes. Uh, it must be verse 7 or verse 8. Let's, let's check what verse 7 says. Yes. 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Uh, uh, let's go back to verse 6. Verse number 5. In number, in number 5. Yeah, yes. okay. Thank you, Pastor Mzim. And that he was the sin of, of Cephas. When the Lord was resurrected, he was sin of Cephas. Then of the twelve. Then of the twelve. After that, he After was that. sin of the above of above 500 brethren at once. Yes. Of whom the greater part remain unto this present. Yes. But some are falling asleep. Can you see that uh, there, there is the New Testament church? Yes. It yes. has started right there. <laughs> yes. About more than 500 people. All, all those were, were Jews. Yes. There were no Gentiles there. Yes. They were elect Jews. Yes. Those are people of Nineveh, portrayed by Nineveh. Mm -hmm. And then the next group of the Jews who went into the New Testament by the grace of God as the elect are in Acts chapter 2, verse 41. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Acts chapter 2, verse 41, that is the next yes. group. Then, then, they, then they, they that gladly received his word yes. were baptized. Yes. And the same day yes. they were added unto them yes. about 3,000 souls. You see, about 3,000 souls were added unto, unto, unto those souls. And all these people came from, the, from, 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 from Galilee or from, from, from Judea uh, and Jerusalem. Some of them came, came from Galilee, but all these were Jews. Yes. The next were the Samaritans. You find mm -hmm. that in the book of Acts chapter, chapter, chapter 8. eight. We're not yes. going to read that. And then the Gentiles 
started in, in Acts chapter 13, chapter 13 verse, verse 48. Yes. Acts chapter 13, verse 48. And when the Gentiles heard this, they were glad and glorified the word of the Lord. Yes. And as many as were ordained to eternal life to believe. Yes. yes. So can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> There, yes. there, there is the, is the road map yes. there. You go to the people of the law first. Mm. You have the elected Jews come in first. Yes. And then you will have the Samaritans. Then mm. you will have the Gentiles. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, Romans 1 verse 16. That is the road map. Jonah must go to Tarshish first. And we never realized. We thought that was a mistake. It wasn't. <laughs> It was not a mistake. <laughs> Romans chapter 1, verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. For it is the power of God. Yes. Unto them that believe. Yes. To the Jew first. It's the power of God unto salvation. Yes. To them that believe. To the Jew first and to the Gentiles. And so, to the Greeks. Yes. It's the, it's the power of God. It's the power of God unto salvation to yes. everyone that believes. Yes. To the Jew first and yes. also to the Gentiles or to the Greeks. Yes. Jonah must go to Tarshish first before he goes to Nineveh. Yes. Because in Nineveh, that's where you will find the elect Jews and the elect Gentiles. Mm. Yes. Mm. Remember, in chapter 3, we read about the people and the beasts. The beast, yes. Yes. And we said the people represented the elect Jews and the beasts represented the elect Gentiles because Gentiles are beasts, they are dogs. <laughs> so this was a road, a road map that Jonah was following. It wasn't a mistake. But let's find out why. Why did he have to go to Tashish first? Or why did the Lord have to go to the people of the law first. Why did he have to go to the Jews first? Yes. And uh, Galatians chapter 4, verse 4. Verse, verse 4, yes. <laughs> <laughs> 4 to 6. <laughs> Brethren, every John chapter 10, verses 1 to 4. Yes. yes. But when the fullness of the time was come, yes. God sent forth his son, yes. made of a woman, yes. made under the law, yes. to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Ah. So, the Lord had to go to the people of the law yes. in order to redeem the mm -hmm. elected Jews who were under the law, mm -hmm. that the elected Jews may receive the adoption of sons. Yes. When he says we might receive the adoption of sons, mm -hmm. it's because mm -hmm. this is Apostle Paul, yes. who was a Jew. He comes from the tribe of Benjamin. Yes. That's why he writes and he says we. He is talking yes. about Jews. Yes. But the truth is, the Lord needed to go to the people of the law yes. in order to redeem them from the law. He couldn't redeem them when he's standing outside the law. He needed to get yes. into, into the law. Yes. When, we are doing, when we are, you, you want to rescue prisoners, you don't do it from the outside. Yes. Mm -hmm. You have to enter into the prison mm. and then you rescue them. Yes. So that's why the Lord had to go into the law mm -hmm. <laughs> to redeem those people who are in the law. Mm -hmm. This is why Jonah has got to go to Tashish mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. to play that drama. <laughs> Amen. Amen. John chapter 10, verses 1 to 4. Yes. Mm. Verily, verily, I say unto you, yes. he that entereth not by the door yes. into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, yes. and the sheep hear his voice. Yes. And he calleth his own sheep yes. by name, uh -huh. and leadeth them out. Yes. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, yes. he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. This is very, very interesting there, brethren, Elfri and, and Pastor Mzima. Yes. The Lord says that himself, he is the true shepherd. He is the shepherd. Mm -hmm. But those who jump, who do not enter through the door, who jump from the sides, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they are the robbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they, he is referring to the Pharisees. Yes. The Sadducees. Yes. And the scribes. 
the, the lawyers mm -hmm. and the doctors of the law. Mm -hmm. Those people never got a mandate from God to teach the law, nor to lead Israel. Yes. They came through the back door. Yes. They didn't come through the front. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but he says that himself, he is the door. He is the shepherd. Mm -hmm. He is also the door. Mm -hmm. He is going inside the sheepfold. And then he leads the elected Jews mm -hmm. out of that <laughs> Out of that sheepfold. Yes. That sheepfold yes. is the law. The law. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's why he has to go to the people of the law. Mm. So that he'll go and lead the elect Jews out of, of the, the law. law. Outside. And then in verse 16, that's when he then talks about the yes. Gentiles. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And the other sheep I have, yes. mm -hmm. which are not of this fold. Yes. Mm -hmm. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice. And there shall be one fold yes. and one shepherd. Mm. So can you see mm. there now, now that uh, the city of Nineveh is complete now? Yes. yes. Those are the Ninevites <laughs> now. Yes. These here are the elect, elect Gentiles. Mm -hmm. They are joining the elect Jews. Mm -hmm. But he went to the Jews first. Mm -hmm. So that's reason number one. Mm -hmm. Why the Lord had to go to the people of the law first. Yes. That is reason number one. Why Jonah went to Tashish yes. instead mm -hmm. of going to Nineveh. Yes. He wasn't a made prophet. <laughs> mm -hmm. There are so many reasons, but I'm going to discuss maybe two or three. The mm -hmm. second reason is that there had been some uh, prophecies. Amen. Okay. That, had been, that had been prophesied about the Lord. Mm -hmm. That what he must do when he comes. So that has got to happen. Yes. Like prophecies like Deuteronomy 18, verse 18. Yes. Let's read that very quickly. Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 18. Yes. I will raise them up a prophet yes. mm -hmm. from among their brethren. Yes. Like unto thee. Yes. I will put my words in his mouth. Yes. And he shall speak unto them yes. all that I shall command him. Mm -hmm. I will raise a prophet mm -hmm. unto them. I will raise them up a prophet from among their mm -hmm. brethren. The brethren are the Jews. Mm -hmm. So there has to be a prophet that is like Moses. That is risen, that rises from the Jews. Yes. Verse 22 of yes. Deuteronomy chapter 18. Verse 22. Yes. When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, yes. if the thing follow not, yes. nor come to pass, yes. that is the thing which the Lord had not spoken. Yes. But the prophet had spoken it yes. presumptuously, that, that shall not be afraid of him. That prophet, you shall not be afraid of him. So if the prophet speaks something and that thing does not come to pass, you must not respect that prophet because he's a false prophet. Yes. Yes. But Moses is not a false prophet. Mm -hmm. Moses is a true prophet. Mm -hmm. So what he has prophesied must come to pass. Yes. This is why a prophet like unto Moses mm -hmm. is being born amongst the brethren. Yes. The Jews. Mm -hmm. That is why the Lord had to go to the people of the law first mm -hmm. before he goes to the elect Jews and the elect Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's why Jonah went to Tashish <laughs> first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The other reason is, 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 is to end the law. Matthew yes. chapter 5, verse 17. Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. Yes. For the Lord to bring the law of Moses to an end, he's got to be to get into the law of Moses and practice yes. it himself. Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 and 18. Think not that I am come to destroy the law. Yes. Or the prophets. Yes. I am not come to destroy. Yes. But to fulfill. Yes. For verily I say unto you. Yes. Till heaven and earth pass, mm. one jot or one title, one title shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. So this is, this is mm. this, the kind of scripture that messes up the heads of the of the SDA people, yes. Yes. verse 17. <laughs> they will say that, ah, the Lord said that he was not going to destroy the law, nor the prophets, but he was going to, to, to fulfill it. <laughs> ah, that is very good. That's exactly what the Lord said. He yes. said he wasn't going to destroy the, the, the law, but he will fulfill it. But what will happen to the law when mm. it has been fulfilled? <laughs> they don't have an answer there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and verse 18 says that, Everything, 
till heaven and earth pass, mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. jot or tackle shall in no wise pass from the law mm -hmm. until all is fulfilled. Yes. But so the question is, was all fulfilled? Yes. John chapter 19, verse yes. 28. Was there, was the law and the prophets fulfilled? Yes. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture must be, might be fulfilled, he said, I test. Yes. yes. Verse 30. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, yes. mm -hmm. he said, it is finished. Uh -huh. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. So all has been fulfilled now. Yes. yes. <laughs> Just like the Lord said. So yes. Yes. when he then fulfilled mm -hmm. the law, what then happened to the law? Ephesians chapter 2, verse 11. Ephesians yes. chapter 2, verse 11. Wherefore remember that you being in time past Gentiles in the flesh, who were called uncircumcision by, by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. So what, what, what the, the scripture is talking about there is talking about the law of Moses. Yes. The law of Moses required the Jews to be circumcised. Yes. But the Gentiles were not circumcised. Yes. So these appeared like two different classes. Yes. Yes. The, the uncircumcised and, and the circumcised. Yes. So what then happened? Verse 12. That at that time you were without Christ, yes. being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. So those who were uncircumcised were aliens, and they were not part of the commonwealth of Israel, and they were strangers of the covenants of promise. Yes. Having no hope, they had no hope, and without God in the world. We had no God in the world. Only the ones with circumcision yes. had God in the world. Yes. Yes. Verse 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. Aha. You have been made near by yes. the blood of Christ. Continue, yes. Pastor. For he is our peace. Yes. Who hath made both one. Aha. Uh -huh. And yet broken down the middle wall of partition between uh -huh. us. Aha. That's what, that's what the Lord did. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity. Hallelujah. <laughs> even the law of commandments condemned in yes. ordinances. Yes. So that. For to make in himself of twain, of twain one, human, one man, so making peace. So making peace. We can, we can stop there, Pastor. Yes. So the Lord had to bring that law. When he fulfilled the law and the mm. prophets, yes. he brought the law to an end. Yes. That law is the same law that forbade the mixing together of Jews and Gentiles. But yes. now he has made them of twain. Yes. The twain, he has made one new man from yes. the two. That mm. is the Nineveh right there. Yes. That's the mystery of Nineveh. Yes. He has combined the elect Jews and the elect Gentiles together, yes. mm -hmm. making peace. Yes. yes. So there was yes. a, 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 a testamental war between the two. Mm -hmm. the, the, the Gentiles were not part of, of, of the Old Testament, but now they are part of the New Testament together mm -hmm. with the Jews yes. because yes. the Lord put that law to an end mm -hmm. after fulfilling yes. the desires of the law. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. You don't want to get Yes, yes. <laughs> But before yeah. the Lord does that, so that's the reason why he had to go to the to the people of the Lord first. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's why Jonah went to Tashish, Tashish. first. Mm -hmm. Now, but before the Lord put all this together, before he died, he, he before he, he brought the law uh, to, to to an end. He had to die. Mm. For him to die, he had to be falsely accused. Yes. Because the Lord never sinned. Yes. Mm -hmm. But someone must come and accuse him. Mm -hmm. When he is accused, then he can be crucified. Yes. But that accusation has got to be false. Mm -hmm. Check it mm -hmm. out. Mark mm -hmm. chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Verses 55. Start from verse 55, we'll see where we, where we end. Yes. In Mark chapter 14. And the chief priests and all the council sought for witnesses against Jesus to put him to death and yes. found none. <laughs> can, you see, can you see what they want? They want to put him to death. Yes. They want to put him away. Mm -hmm. They want to find a cause to crucify him. Yes. So they have lined up witnesses, but they found none. Mm -hmm. Verse 56. Yes. For men bear false witness yes. against him. Yes. 
but their witness agreed not together. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they arose certain and bear false witness against him, yes. saying, What did they say? We heard him say, I will destroy this temple yes. that is made with hands. Yes. And within three days, I will build another made without hands. Yes, but he, he did say this in John chapter 2, yes. verses 18 to, to 21. Yes. But so was that, was that wrong there or was that false though? It wasn't false. It wasn't false. He was referring to, to the temple of his yes. body. Yes. And he knew that he was going to lie in the tomb yes. for three days. So yes. that's what he was talking about there. Yes. So that is actually is not true. It's, it, yes. it's not untrue. Mm. It's actually true. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Then answered the uh, then answered the Jews and said unto him, Yes. What sign showest thou unto us? Yes. Seeing thou, seeing that thou doest these things. Yes. Jesus answered and said unto them, What did the Lord say? Destroy this temple, and in, in three days I will raise it up. Okay, we, we, we want to, wanted to continue in Mark chapter 14. I think uh, our last verse was uh, verse uh, 50, was it 58 or 59? It was 58. 58. Yes. Let's go to verse 59. But neither so did their witness agree together. Yes. And yes, the high priest stood up in the midst yes. and asked Jesus, yes. saying, mm. Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses against thee? Yes. But he held his peace. He held his and peace. And answered nothing. He answered nothing. Yes. Again, the high priest asked him. Yes. And said unto him. Yes. Art thou the Christ, the son of the blessed? Blessed, yes. And Jesus said, mm. I am. Yes. And you shall see the son of man sitting on the right hand of power mm. and coming in, in, the and clouds. coming in, in the clouds of heaven. Yes. Then... <laughs> <laughs> yes. Then the high priest rent his clothes yes. and said, yes. What need we any further witnesses? Yes. Verse 64. Yes. You have heard the blasphemy. Yes. <laughs> what think ye? Yes. And they all condemned him to be guilty of death. So they all condemned him to be guilty of death. So that is how he, we will find the Lord hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. Because yes. they condemned him. But he was not supposed to be condemned. Mm. This is just a way for them to crucify him. Yes. Mm. Luke chapter 23. Luke chapter 23, we want verses 13 to 15. Yes. So the high priests have condemned Jesus. Yes. Now, if Jesus is condemned, if Jesus is condemned, then he is not the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. He cannot take away the sin of the world, according to, uh, like John, John 1, verse 29 said. Mm -hmm. yes. If there is a fault with him, he cannot take away the sin of the world. So God has seen that the Jews are foolish. Mm -hmm. The high priest is foolish. He cannot do, he is, trust, he is not trustworthy to make a correct assessment of this lamb. Mm -hmm. So God had another high priest. Mm -hmm. He hired a gentile yes. called Pilate. Yes. Pontius Pilate. Yes. Verse 13. And Pilate, yes. when he had called together the chief priests and yes. the rulers and the people, yes. said unto them, Yes. You have brought this man unto me. You have brought this man unto me. Is one that perverted the people. Is one that perverted the people. And behold, yes. I have examined him before you. <laughs> I have examined him before you. You have found no fault in Alleluia. this man, touching those things whereof you accuse him. <laughs> Verse 15. No, no yet, Herod. Even Herod. For I send you to him. Yes. And lo, nothing worth of death is done unto him. Herod found nothing worth of death unto him. Yes. So this lamb, is without blemish. Mm -hmm. You can now take this lamb and make a sacrifice. Yes, take it to the old. Take it to the old. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Had, had Jesus not gone to the people of the law and gone straight to the Gentiles, do you think this was going to happen? No. The answer no. is no. 
It wasn't. It wasn't going to happen because the, yes. the Gentiles have no law. Yes. yes. It's the Jews who must falsely accuse him of breaking the law. The law. Mm -hmm. That you find the Lord <laughs> hanging on the cross. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord had to go to the people of the law. Yes. Portrayed by Jonah who went to Tarshish. Yes. He wasn't a mad prophet. Yes. He was laying a template for the Lord. Jonah chapter yeah. 1. <laughs> Jonah chapter 1. Yes. Verses 3 to 5. Let's, we want to have a look at the sheep now. Yes. In Jonah chapter 1, verses 3 to 5. Yes. But Jonah rose up yes. to flee unto Tarshish yes. from the presence of the Lord. Yes. And he went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof. Yes. And went down into it. Yes. To go with them unto Tarshish. Yes. From the presence of the Lord. Yes. <laughs> but the Lord sent out a great wind yes. into the sea. Yes. And there was a mighty tempest in the sea, mm. so that the ship was like to be broken. Yes. Then the mariners were afraid and were cried afraid. every man unto his yes. God. Yes. And cast forth the wares that were in the ship yes. into the sea. Yes. To lighten it. To lighten of them. Ship. Yes. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship. Yes. And he lay and was fast asleep. Right. So, <laughs> let's, let's have a look at the ship. Mm. Yes. So, the ship here um, represented the Old Testament. Yes. yes. Amen. The ship represents the Old Testament, mm. meaning, meaning the, the Tanakh Bible. Yes. yes. It represents the law and the prophets. Mm. The first five books of Moses, mm. all the way through to the books of the prophets, including the Psalms, Mm. Up to the book of Malachi. Yes. The whole Old Testament uh, represented by the ship. Yes. Uh, in Matthew chapter 22, is this verse 34? Matthew chapter 22, verse 34. Yes, yeah, start from verse 35. Yes. Um, then one of them, which was a lawyer, Yes. Ask him a question. Mm. Ask him a question. Tempting him. Yes. Mm. And saying. What did he say? Master, mm. which is the great commandment in yes. the law? Yes. Jesus said unto him. Yes. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Yes. With all thy heart. With all thy heart. And with all, and thy, with all soul, thy soul. And with all thy mind. And with all thy mind. This mm. is the first and the great this commandment. This is the first mm. and the great commandment. Yes. Yes. And the second is like unto The it. second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You shall love thy mm. neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments. On these two commandments. Hang all the law hang and all the prophets. The law mm. and the prophets. So mm. does the Lord Jesus believe in the law of Moses? Does he believe <laughs> in the law and the prophets? The answer is yes, he does. Yes, he does. This is what he is teaching there. Yes. Luke chapter 4, verse 16. <laughs> Luke chapter 4, verse 16. Yes. And he came to Nazareth where he yes. has been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on but the Sabbath day. And he stood up for to, to read. He stood, <laughs> he stood up for <laughs> to read. And there was delivered unto him Wanga, the, the book of thank the Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Sanga, ishe wanga rum sabad. He went to the people of the law and he kept yes. the Sabbath. Yes. Yeah, it's cheap. Yes. He was a Jew. Yes. He was a Jew. Mm. And the Jews kept the law of Moses. Yes. They, 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 take, they kept the Torah or they, they followed the Tanakh Bible. Yes. It was a 613 laws. Mm. That is what the, the Lord called the law and the prophets. Mm. Yes. And he said they, they all hang on this on those two mm -hmm. laws that he mentioned, he mentioned mm -hmm. there. So he was part of the law. Mm -hmm. That is, was portrayed by Jonah going into the ship. Mm -hmm. That ship represented the Old Testament. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, we covered this in the first, in the first part, brethren, Edfrey. Yes. And we say, it, uh, we say that Nineveh, from Joppa, where Jonah uh, boarded the ship, was uh, 800 kilometers on the right. Yes. Mm. And Tashish was 4,000 kilometers to the left. To the left, yes. Mm. Now, 
if you divide 4,000 4, by 800, the answer is 5. Hmm. <laughs> I wish Pastor Padre was here. He's, he's one who loves mathematics. <laughs> if, you, if you divide 4,000 by 800, the answer is 5. Yes. Yes. And 5 is the number of the law yeah. of five Moses, yes. representing the sheep. Five books. Yes. <laughs> the five books of Moses, mm. the Pentateuch. took. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Hebrews 10 verse 1 let me show you something amazing in the drama of Jonah this yes. part, yes. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 1 for the law having a shadow of good things to come mm -hmm. for the law having a shadow of good things to come and not the very image of and the not things, the very image of those things can mm -hmm. never with those sacrifices which they offered year by year continually make <sighs> The corners there and to okay, so Amen. so the law. My better network person. Yeah, I was. Uh, I don't know if I uh, I've picked the signal, but I was reading Jonah chapter one. Yes. Uh, verse four, mm. where it says, "But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, yes. and there was a might a might tempest in the sea." So that the the ship was like to be broken. Yes. Then the mariners cried. Uh, then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God and cast forth the ways that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it of them. Yes. So as you have mentioned that the the ship there represents the Old Testament order. Yes. The five books of the law. Yes. Which are. Uh, which contained the prophecies about Christ. Yes. But Christ, represented by Jonah, Jonah already is in the, is in the in the ship. Yes. But he had gone in, down to the sides of the ship. So these uh, this tempest, uh, I see them representing the reign of sin over humanity. Okay. And then, in trying to lighten the ship so that it will not capsize. They offloaded the waves and cast them into the sea. Yes. This is when we see them, the Jews trying to justify themselves by the deeds of the law. Okay. Be but the, the, the solution there was there. The solution was Jonah. <laughs> but they did not discover Jonah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, Pastor, I, I, I'll give you some, <laughs> some other time to, to comment on that one. Because that's where we are going. <laughs> <laughs> Let's cover something else first before, before you say that, Pastor. So in Hebrews chapter 10, yes. verse 1, we, we saw that it's talking about a shadow. Yes. When you mm. see a shadow, it is an image yes. of an object. Yes. Yes. So according to, to, to verse 1 of Hebrews chapter 10, the object is better than the shadow. the shadow yes. right so when you go to the end of the shadow not to the beginning of the shadow mm -hmm. go yes. to the end of the shadow if you follow that shadow it will lead you to the object yes which produced that shadow yes right so the law the ship is the one that would lead the mariners yes. into finding john yes mm. <laughs> the law leads people to find the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, yes. The Old Testament. I've heard a lot of people say that, like the SDS, for instance, they say that Jesus' revelation ministries, you are confused. You say the Old Testament, Munya, you don't even read the Old Testament. And, and that is a lie. It's a lie, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We actually read the Old Testament, Old Testament yes. more than anybody else. Yes. yes. Because that's where the prophecies of Christ are found. Yes. That's where we find him. Yes. That's where we find the Lord. <laughs> yes. It's, the, it's, it's those Old Testament scriptures that leads us to, to Christ. Yes. Galatians chapter 3, verses 23 to 25. Galatians 3, verses 23 to 25. So... You have to get into the ship for you to find John. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Lord, you have to go into the Tanakh Bible yes. for you to find the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. Verse 23. But before faith, before faith, faith came, came, 
We were kept under the law. We were kept under the law. Shut up unto the faith which should afterwards be revealed. Yes. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster the, to bring us. The law was our schoolmaster. To bring us unto Christ. <laughs> the sheep was the schoolmaster. Yes. Bringing the elect to John. Yes. The elect to Christ. Can you see that? Yes. yes. That the elect might be justified by faith. Yes. yes. And that's it. <laughs> Yes. That's it. Verse 25 first. But after that, after that faith, after that come, faith is come, yeah. we are no longer under a schoolmaster. We don't need the sheep anymore. <laughs> yes. <laughs> after finding Jonah, yes. we don't need the sheep yes. anymore. Yes. We, must, we, we can as well t just toss the Jonah, Jonah into, in, in, into, the, into the sea mm. and, and, and the wind will become. Yes. The storm is gone. Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. You have to go inside the ship in order to find the Jonah. Mm. You have to go to the Old Testament mm -hmm. to find the Lord. Yes. That's where he is found. What I'm saying, what I'm talking about is this, brethren. In the, if you go to the Old Testament, you go to the book of Genesis, you will find that the Lord is presented there as the seed of the woman that bruises the head of the serpent. Yes. He's talking about the Lord. Mm -hmm. You find him here, there, represented by the first Adam, but he comes as the second Adam. Yes. That mm -hmm. is finding the Lord in the book of Genesis. Mm -hmm. In the book of Exodus, you find the Lord as Moses, who is the redeemer of Israel. Mm -hmm. Moses is in the shoes of the Lord. Yes. When the Lord comes, he comes to redeem the elect from the bondage of sin. Yes. So you find the Lord in the book of Exodus. When you go to the book of Leviticus, yes. you find the Lord in Leviticus chapter 16 yes. as the God of the Lord. Yes. You also find him as the, as the, as the God of Azazel, mm. yes. the scapegoat. Mm. That is finding the Lord in the book of Leviticus. Mm. If you go to the book of Numbers, you find the Lord as the present serpent. Yes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if you go to the book of Deuteronomy, those, yes. these are the five books of Moses now. Yes. If you go to the book of Deuteronomy, you find the Lord being Moses, who gives the second law, or who gives the law the second time. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that is the Lord for you. Mm -hmm. He is the law giver. Mm -hmm. In the book of Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. So go to the first five books of Moses. That's where you'll find the Lord. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He is found in the ship. Yes. Yes. Jonah, you find Jonah in the in ship. The ship. Mm -hmm. This is how mm -hmm. beautiful Jonah portrayed the character of our Lord Jesus Christ. He, 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 he played the type of Christ the best way ever. It's just so, so beautiful when, 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 when you look at it. Now, yes. le, le, let's look at, at, at the fair. Uh, after looking at the fair, Pastor, we are, coming to the, we are going to come to the great wind. Yes. Let's look at the fair that Jonah paid. Yes. We spoke about, uh, we, we read in Goma Edfri mm -hmm. that Jonah, was it verse 3? Yes, oh, it was verse 3. Where he, where he paid a fare. Yes. Can you read, read that part, please? But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish yes. from the presence of the Lord. Yes. And went down to Joppa. Yes. And he found a ship going to Tarshish. Yes. So he paid the fare thereof. He paid the fare yes. of going as far as Tarshish, which was 4,000 kilometers yes. away. That means he paid a very high price mm. for going to, to Tarshish. Yes. We want to see the Lord paying that fare yes. of going to Tashish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You remember 1 Corinthians chapter 15 yes. verses 45 and uh, we are not going to read, to, to, to read that one. It talks about the Lord. Oh, media team just show us verse 45. It talks about the first Adam mm -hmm. was made a living soul and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Yes. The last yes. Adam is the Lord. Verse 47. Yes. The fifth man is of the earth. The first man that is Adam is of the earth. Earthy. Earthy. Yes. And the second man is the Lord from is the Lord from heaven. The second man is the Lord from heaven. Look at what happened to the Lord in Luke chapter two, verse eleven. <laughs> we know that the Lord came from heaven, yes. according to First Corinthians fifteen, verse forty-seven. Mm. But l read Luke chapter two, verse eleven, and see what happened to the Lord, who had come from heaven. For unto you is born this day in the seat of David a Savior, 
which is Christ the Lord. Pane munhu wekudenga anobva kudenga anozvarwa. Munhu anobva kudenga. Ogonya so hokwana mudumbu ramaria so. That's the Lord praying a high faith there. Yes. He's praying yes. paying the yes. price. Yes. <laughs> if you read John chapter 1 mm -hmm. verse 3 you will find mm -hmm. that everything there is all things were made by him mm -hmm. and without him was not anything made that was made I like that the Lord is praying a high fare a very very high price yes. for going to the Jews Mm. For going to the people of the law, that is a, that is a part that was played by Jonah. He yes. is the type of Christ. Mm. He is paying a fair. Luke chapter in that Luke chapter two. Let's go to verse twenty one to twenty three. Verse twenty one to twenty three. And when eight days were accomplished for it, the circumcising of the child, so the Lord had been born now, and eight, eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. Before you continue, Pastor, let me explain something. The Lord, according to Galatians 4, verse 4, mm -hmm. he's, he, he's made of a woman. He's yes. born under the law, right? Yes. So you would think that because he's born of a virgin, then he becomes a Jew. But no, mm -hmm. he is not a Jew mm -hmm. until he is circumcised. Mm -hmm. The Jews mm -hmm. made him qualified to be a Jew. <laughs> this is why David David says to Goliath, "How can who is this uncircumcised Philistine who defies the armies of the of the living God?" And and Simeon and Levi in Genesis chapter thirty-four say, say, say they, they say to Shechem and Hamor, "We will not let you marry our daughters unless you are circumcised." <laughs> All of you. Mm. They had to make them quali qualify. Mm. So the Lord was made to qualify to become a Jew. Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> mm. 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 <laughs> we have to pay a high price to get to touch it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. Um, where were you, Pastor? Can uh, you start that verse again? Verse 21. Yes. And, and when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, yes. his name was called Jesus, mm. which was so named of the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Yes. And when the days of his purification according to the law of Moses yes. were accomplished, yes. they brought him to Jerusalem. They brought him to Jerusalem. To present him to the Lord. To, to present him to the Lord. Verse 23. As it is written in the law of the Lord. Yes. Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy yes. to the Lord. Yes. And to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. So now the Lord has qualified to be a Jew. Yes. yes. By circumcision and dedication, mm. he paid a high price. Mm. That is the price that was portrayed. By, yes. by, 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 by Jonah. Yes. Uh, Matthew chapter 17. Here is something also very interesting. Verses 24 to 27. Remember that in, in, in John chapter 2. Yes. The Lord says, uh, is it John chapter 2 verse 14. John chapter 2 verse 14. And uh, uh, no, it's not. It's verse 15. Try verse 15. Oh, it's verse 16. Verse 16. And the Lord, uh, uh, this is what the Lord said to those who were selling times. Take these things hence, uh, make not my father's house and house of merchandise. Yes. So the Lord calls the temple his father's house. house. Mm -hmm. Now let's go back to Matthew chapter, uh, chapter 17, verse 24, and, and, and see when he went to his father's house, yes. what he is expected to do, mm -hmm. what they made him do. Mm -hmm. Right. And when they were come to Capernaum, they, they that received the tribute, man came to Peter yes. and said, Yes. Doth not your master pay tribute? Yes. He said, he said yes. Peter says, Yes. My master does pay, pay tribute. Mm. He does pay the temple tax. Yes. They made him pay the temple tax mm. in his house, mm. in his mm. father's house. Mm. 
Marocha no ya ukuthi uri mwana wa lendo loyi wathi kuno uthi no badarisa kuno badarisa no badarisa rente Yeah Read that again please pastor verse 25 He said yes Peter said yes and when he was come into the house yes Jesus prevented him saying What did he say What thing is thou Simon Yes of whom do the kings of the earth take custom or tribute Yes of their own children or of strangers of their own children or of strangers Peter said then to him What did Peter say Of strangers Of strangers Jesus said then to him Then are the children free You are children you are free you shouldn't be paying rent in your father's house Yes Not with the standing <laughs> Yeah lest we should offend them Yes Go thou to the sea Bana pati rudira nevanhu vasinganzwisise you get offended saka chienda hapa pa ruza hapa pa nyanza hapa and cast cast and hook and cast and hook and take up the fish take up the fish that first cometh up that comes first yes and when thou hast opened his mouth his open mouth, the mouth of the fish thou shalt find a piece of money yes take that take and give unto them for me and thee you can now pay rent for me <laughs> and for yourself but we shouldn't be paying this yes <laughs> they yes, made yes. him pay in his father's house yes. that is that is the lord paying a high price for going to the jews first mm. portrayed by jonah who paid a high fare to mm. go to tashish yes ngoba efri taurates i think the picture that we, um, jonah painted is so elaborate um, we are learning of the fare that uh, jonah paid so that he would go to tashish and um, we have learned quite many um, many examples that are proving that indeed Christ when he came to the Jews he yes. paid a high price yes and it was not so easy it, it didn't start when he was uh, born it's, it started even when when he when he even when when he went into the mm, into the womb of Mary yes that was a price that he was paying because yes. him being the lord him being the creator of this universe yes. being found in someone's womb that somebody that he created <laughs> had been found in the, in his womb when we look at the dedication of, the, of, of, of our Lord Jesus Christ into the law, that was the price that he was paying. How can the Lord of Lords be dedicated to, 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 to enter into the law by the people that he created? So That's ridiculous. Also, it's, it's so ridiculous, but it, it, it happened. <laughs> it happened. You, you also see the humility that our Lord had. <laughs> All those things he was happening. He lived as a, as, as a man. He lived as a child. And all those things that the children of Israel in their childhood would experience, he did experience those. That was also a price that he was paying. Yes. Because he was the Lord and he was in, he had to do what all humans do. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's so amazing that Jonah, Jonah really proved that because he, it is written that he paid a, a, a hefty price for him to go to Tashish. So we see the scriptures being elaborate. To, to support the, the, the notion that indeed it was a high price. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Mkoma Elfri. So, Pastor Mzimba, you did read Jonah chapter 1, verse 4, yes. and uh, which was talking about the great wind, which yes. was sent by the Lord. Yes. And you do, you, 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 you're explaining that uh, uh, one aspect of it is the sin. Yes. Yes, that's where I stopped you. <laughs> did, yes. did you want to finish that, that off be, be, before I bring another aspect? Yes, uh, probably I may just add on some scriptures just to cement and uh, concretize this, uh, this understanding. Yes. Uh, verse 5 of Jonah chapter 1, he had said, Yes. Then the mariners were afraid, and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the ways that were in the ship into the sea, to lighten it off them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides, of the ship and he lay and was fast asleep so the laying down of Jonah here when he had gone to the to the sides or to the lower sides of the ship it is talking about Christ hiding in the scriptures Christ hiding behind the characters that are in the Bible yes yes when you look at Abraham we are not looking at, we are not going to learn about Abraham, but we are expected to learn about Christ. This is Jonah hiding behind, behind Abraham. 
But the, I was just mentioning the issue of, of the wind when I was saying these pictures, uh, this paints a picture of the reign or dominance of, uh, of sin over humanity, uh, which means humanity had no righteousness in them. Yes. Because righteousness was only going to be brought uh, by Christ, but mm. Christ he had not yet manifested in the flesh. Yes. So that he could die on the cross and, 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 and get rid of this sin. So these mariners, they took off the luggage that was in the, in the ship and they cast it into the sea to try to, to lighten off the, 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 the ship or rather to, to make it not to capsize. Yeah, all right. Pastor. But to no avail. <laughs> to no avail. <laughs> to no avail. Yes. yes. So I had said, these are the, we see now the Jews trying to justify themselves, trying mm. to defeat sin by the deeds of the law, but they failed. They cannot defeat they cannot sin. Pose. Yes, sin cannot be cannot be defeated by doing the works of the law. Yes, yes. yes. Now I, I just want to show you the, the, uh, another aspect of Jonah of the great wind. When the Lord, when Jonah, when Jonah went into the ship, yes, that's when the stor storm was sent by God. Mm -hmm. That great wind. Yes. So you find that when the Lord came into the law. It was surprising that the people that he found running the church of the law mm -hmm. are not the people that were authorized by God. Yes. God put the Levites as custodians yes. of the law and the order of divine service. But instead, he found the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the lawyers, the doctors, of the law yes. and the scribes yes. running the church. If you find wrong, wrong people running the church, you know that there is heresy. Mm. They are teaching heresy. Yes, that yes. is the great win there. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are teaching heresy. Yes, <laughs> John, John chapter one verse seventeen. For the law came by yes. Moses. Yes, for the law was given by Moses, but yes. grace and truth came, came by Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ yes. That statement there tells us that there was no truth in the law of Moses, mm -hmm. because truth only came with the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Grace and truth came with the Lord Jesus, yes. so there was no truth. If there was no truth, what was there? Falsehoods. Falsehood. <laughs> that's, the, <laughs> that's the great wind. But yeah. you only you will only see this great wind mm. only when the Lord is arrives. Mm -hmm. Only when Jonah comes into the ship. No problem knows when a great wind much. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he preserved in verse 19. You wanted you wanted to say something. Yes, and yeah, I just I just wanted to <laughs> to, to reiterate what um uh, Pastor Mzimba was saying. Uh, when we want to, when we talk about uh, Jonah laying yes. in the side of the ship uh, and being first uh, first uh, was first asleep, we also see that when our, when the Lord went into the law for thirty for, for thirty two years thirty three years he was among them and they never really knew that the Lord was among them. Ah, he walked with them, please but stop they never me. really <laughs> understood that we have Lord. If we if we go to scriptures, maybe please, like please, um, please stop them. Come <laughs> 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 I I I at thee. Brethren, we have some very interesting comments on the live stream here. Yeah. Uh, same same channel says Matthew twenty three, verse twenty three, and yes. I have omitted the weightier matters of the law mm. and not to leave the other others undone. I think he, he was referring, referring to the Pharisees, yes. To the Pharisees. Mm. Yes. And and the fact that being the, the false preachers, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, Brethren, Tendai Valentine Mandaza says, and what sometimes is interesting is that Jonah is no longer in the ship as the Lord is also no longer in the church of the Old Testament. Yes. Mm. That's, 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 yes. that's, that's interesting, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Brethren, love more yes. Lord Kadaka. We find Christ deep inside the ship, deep inside the Old Testament. Mm. Yes, that's that's interesting. Yes, and uh, Mandaza comes back again and says, "Yes, that's really amazing. I didn't see. Now I see. They qualified him. 
Yes, they made mm. the Lord mm. to qualify. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 19. Yes. We are talking about the great wind. Yes. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 19. Yes. For the law made nothing perfect. Yes. But the bring in of a better hope did. Yes. But the by the which we draw nigh unto God. So, if the law made nothing perfect, mm. why keep the law then? Mm. What was the benefit of keeping the law? If it made nothing perfect. And if you read verse 18 yes. it, it, of Hebrews chapter 7, it says, for there is verily a disannulling of the, of the commandment yes. going before the weakness and unprofitableness thereof. But when, when they were teaching the law, did they teach that the law was weak and unprofitable? No. No, no they, they did not. They did. They, they were teaching heresy. Mm. That is the great wind. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And you can only see this. <laughs> you can only see this great wind when the Lord comes or yes. when Jonah gets boards the ship, yes. then you realize, ah, we are in trouble. We're in trouble. Yes. We are in trouble. <laughs> in Mark chapter 7, verses yes. 9 to 13, the, 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 there was a thing called Korban. Mm -hmm. Yes. The Pharisees were teaching the traditions of men, teaching them as if they were commandments of God. Mm -hmm. So they, there was the system of, of Korban. We are not going to, to read that. It's 9 to, 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 to verses 9 to 13. Mm -hmm. They also brought in a proselytization. Mm -hmm. you, they, they, they got the people who were not born Jews mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. pay money so that they become Jews. Mm -hmm. They circumcise them, and then they become Jews, mm -hmm. and they call them proselytes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's the great wind there. Yes. That's the great wind. Yes, that's the great wind. It's, 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 it's just all interesting. Verses, Jonah chapter 1, verses, we have read, read verse 5. Let's read yes. verse 6 now. So the shipmaster came to him yes. and said unto him, What did he say? What meanest thou? What do you mean? O sleeper. O sleeper. Arise, call upon thy God. Yes. If so be that God will think upon us that we perish not. <laughs> <laughs> you sleeper, arise, yes. call upon thy God. A call upon thy God. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the thing about Jonah. When Jonah is in the ship, he is sleeping. That is the Lord during his 30 days of his flesh. He was quiet in the law. Mm. He was sleeping. That is Jonah sleeping. Mm. When they saw him doing his carpentry work mm. with his, with his uh, uh, foster father, Joseph, they never knew that inside of him there was the Christ. Mm -hmm. He was sleeping in the law, portrayed by John, sleeping in the basement of the ship. <laughs> 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 but with that now, you have to discover John. Yes. When you discover John, now that is the revealed word. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The revealed word has always been there. Yes. It only needed to be revealed by the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. after Acts chapter 2. Mm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Jonah was there in the ship. They didn't know. Mm. Until they discovered him in the basement of the ship. And this is what I went to the SDA shrine for 36 years myself. When the gospel found me, only to discover the revealed word. <laughs> it has been there all these years. All these years. <laughs> uh, Proverbs chapter 25, verse 13. Verses, verses 1 to 3. Um, that is you, Pastor. Brethren, Edfrey, John chapter 5, verse 39. Yes. <laughs> These are also Proverbs of Solomon. Which the men of Hezekiah, king of Judah, copied out. Yes. It is the glory of God to conceal a thing. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. <laughs> but the honor of the king is to search out a matter. 
the honor of the king is to search out that matter. <laughs> the heaven for height, and the earth for depth, and the heart of kings is unsearchable. Uh, John chapter 5. Yes. Verse 39. Jonah is yes. concealed in the basement of the ship. <laughs> the Lord is concealed in the Tanakh Bible. Mm. Yes. <laughs> but it's a matter for the kings yes. to search that matter. Yes. Mm. It is the glory of the kings to search that matter. Yes. Mm. Verse 39. Yes. Search the scriptures. Search the scriptures. Mm. For in them you think you have eternal yes. life. Yes. And they are they which testify of. You me. have to search to find who the scriptures testify of. Mm -hmm. You have to search. Because <laughs> it's the glory of the king to conceal a matter. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Jonah was concealed. Mm. He is representing the revealed word. Mm. Ah, this is just... Ah, wonderful. <laughs> yes, it's, it's wonderful, <laughs> brethren. Brethren, Ed Free. Now, the other thing is this. In Jonah chapter 1, verses 8 and 9. Yes. When they have discovered Jonah, mm -hmm. they still don't know who he was. Mm -hmm until Jonah reveals himself, himself to them. Verse 8 and 9. Yes. Let's read that. <laughs> then said yes. they unto him, They said they unto him, Tell us, we, tell us, we, we pray, pray thee, we pray thee yes. for whose cause this evil whose? is upon us. Yes. What is thine occupation? What is thy occupation? And whence comest thou? Whence comest thou? What is thy country? What is thy country? And of what people art thou? Of what people art thou? And he said unto what them, What did he say? I am in Hebrew. I am in Hebrew. And I fear the Lord. <laughs> can, you see, can you see that they didn't know him? <laughs> yes. And now he's revealing himself. Yes. yes. I am in Hebrew. Mm. I mean, a Hebrew who fears the Lord, the, the God of heaven. Which he hath made the sea and the dry land. Can you, can, you, can, can you see as well that he is not talking about the law? Yes. He is talking about nature. He's talking about creation. When mm. you talk to Gentiles, that's ah, what you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know him. Oh, no. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 They have no clue mm. who mm. he was. Mm. And he says, ah, by the way, mm -hmm. I'm in Hebrew. Mm. And I fear the Lord. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yes. You know, 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 Matthew 11, verse 25. Jonah played this drama extremely well. He had yes. revealed himself to them even after they had discovered him. Yes. Matthew chapter 11, verse 25. Let's yes. see what the Lord does. Yes. Matthew 11, verse 25. Yes. At that time, yes. Jesus answered and said, Yeah. I thank thee, O Father. I thank thee, O Father. Lord of heaven. Lord of heaven. heaven. Because heaven. thou hast hid these things yes. from the wise and prudent. Yes. And hast revealed Aha. them unto them. You have mm. revealed this to the elect, mm. to the people of Nineveh. Mm. Yes. Yes. Even so, Even Father. So. For so it seemed good in thy sight. This is what seemed good to your sight. Yes. All things are delivered All unto me of my Father. Unto me of my Father. And no man knoweth the son. No man knows John. But the father. But the father knows John. He's the one know who sent John. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Neither knoweth any man the father. Yes. Save the son. Save the son. And he to whom, to whomsoever the son will reveal him. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that the son has to reveal himself yes. Yes. to yes. the elect for Amen. them to know him? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Saga <laughs> 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 Ah, this this teaching, Pastor Chuma, yes, is, uh, is becoming old. Uh, <laughs> now you you actually get uh, shocked when you see these charlatans going to enroll with uh, theological colleges. Yes, to learn the word of God. Yes, uh, the, uh, Jesus 
Christ he has to reveal himself unto you. Yes. Not because you desire to see him, but because uh, he wills to reveal himself unto you. Yes. It's actually a, a fruitless uh, 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 exercise to try to climb the mountains, to fast, to pray, asking God to reveal his son to you. Because when he was in the flesh, the people among us to which he was living, they failed to see, they failed to know him. Yes, yes. He yes. was hiding in the flesh. Yes. You see, <laughs> it only took him 80, 30 years. Yes. That he wanted to reveal himself to the house of Israel. Yes. yes. And he, he left for the river Jordan. Yes. And he showed himself up to John the Baptist. Yes. But he didn't desist from this habit of hiding inside the flesh. <laughs> we are now in the New Testament church. Yes. Yes. Jesus Christ is no longer to be met in the flesh mm. on account of Second Corinthians chapter, chapter 5, verse 16. He is now in another dimension like what you are teaching us. He is now in the dimension of the word. But where is this word? He has hid the word in an ethan vessel. Yes. <laughs> Still he is hiding. Number one, he is hiding uh, in the preacher. <laughs> Both the word is, 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 is proclaimed from the preacher. Yes. Number two, he is hiding in the scriptures as well. Yes. You see? In all these accounts, he has to reveal himself unto you. So in First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, he said, but God has showed these things, has revealed these things unto yeah. us through, this, through his spirit. For the spirit of God searcheth all things. Yes. Yeah, even the deep things of God. Yes. So we now rely upon the Holy Spirit for us to know the secrets of the kingdom, the unsearchable riches of God which are hidden in the scriptures. Mm. Yes. We don't labor to come up with these, with these revelations about Christ. But he is the one who, Amen. who chooses to reveal himself Amen. unto us Amen. without us expending any effort. No labor at all. No labor at all. So when he labored on the cross, he wanted to reveal himself yes. to us yes. via the Holy Spirit. Yes. So yes. We, we, we thank the Lord we thank God for Pastor. giving us this ministration <laughs> of the Holy Spirit. We well, thank God, Pastor. There, 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 there was another point that you mentioned earlier on. I've just thought about it when you we were talking about the, the mariners. Yes. Uh, the mariners okay. actually represent the Old Testament prophets. Yes. yes. And and Jonah has gone inside the ship. He knows that if he 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 throws the cargo out, because that cargo represents the instruments of the, of the, of the law. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the instruments of the law, like the Sabbath, tithing, Chuck Hamazot, yes, uh, circumcision, all those, yeah. all those things, the Passover, all those things must be thrown into the water. Mm. But if Jonah goes inside and throws the cargo out, because the mariners are profit, are profiteering, they are profiting by selling this cargo yes. when they get to Tashish. Yes. If Jonah goes inside and he throws it out, they will kill him. <laughs> you see, the Lord has yes. got to die at the right time. At the right time, yes. <laughs> yes. He, 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 he can't just be crucified in any other time. Mm. He's got to, be to die at the right time. Mm. So Jonah is not taking that risk. So he has to hide under the basement, mm. cause a storm, so that the mariners can throw the cargo by themselves mm. yes. out. Mm. So they throw the cargo out. The instruments of the law of Moses. Mm. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah. Throwing the cargo out is a true representation of the end of the law. Yes. Galatians chapter 4, yes. verse 21. <laughs> verse 21 and 22. Yes. Let's see what happens. Tell me, you that desire to be under yes. the law. 
do you not hear the law? Do you not hear what the law says? For it is written. What is written? That Abraham had two sons. Abraham had two sons. The one by a bond woman. Yes. By a bond maid. By, by a bond maid, yes. The other by a free woman. Verse 24. Which things are an allegory? These things are an allegory. An allegory is an illustration. Yes. 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 For these are the two covenants. These are the two covenants. The one from the Mount Sinai. The one from the Mount Sinai. Which gendereth to bondage. Which genders to bondage. Which is eager. Which is an eager. That is the Old Testament. For this Mount Sinai. Yes. For this eager is Mount Sinai in Arabia. In Arabia. And answereth to Jerusalem. Answer which to now Jerusalem, is, which now is. And is in bondage with their children. And is in bondage with their children. Verse 30. What should we do Never. with the Old Testament? What should we do with the Ten Commandments? What should we do with the Law of Moses? Nevertheless, what says the Scripture? What should we do with Hagar? Cast out the bondwoman Cast and the son. the Old Testament. For the son of the bondwoman shall not be a with the son of the free woman. Philippians chapter 3. <laughs> Cast <laughs> this cargo into the sea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. law has got to go into the sea. Yes. Philippians <laughs> chapter 3, verse 7 yes. and 8. But what things were gained to me? Ah. The cargo, the cargo yes. was a lot of gain to me. Yes. Those I counted loss. I counted Christ. this cargo mm. loss for me to gain Jonah, to yes. gain Christ. <laughs> <laughs> you doubtless. Yes. And I count all things but loss. For the excellence of the knowledge of Christ if, Jesus, my if Lord. If I lose all this cargo, I get the excellency of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Yes. Mm. For whom I have suffered the loss of all things. Yes. And do count them but dung. This cargo. That I may win Christ. This cargo, I count it dung now. Yes. Mm. So that I can win Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be with Jonah in this yeah. ship. Passing up, passing up, passing up, bongo zozo, passing up, storm, passing up, great wind. Cargo out. Throw the cargo out. Muchao wana kuti. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse seven and eight. Yes. Second Corinthians chapter three, verse seven and eight. It comes, but if the ministration of death, written and engraven in stones, yes. was glorious. So that the children of Israel could not steadfastly behold the face of Moses. For the glory of his countenance. Yes. Which glory was to be done away. The, hey, <laughs> the Old Testament, the law of Moses, the Ten Commandments, engraven in stone, mm. was supposed to be done away with. Yes. yes. The cargo was always supposed to be thrown out. Mm -hmm. It profits you nothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. How shall not the ministration of the Spirit be rather glorious? There is a new ministration now, mm -hmm. which is glorious, and is the ministration of the Spirit. The Spirit. Yes. Yes. Verse 9. For if the ministration of condemnation be glory, yes. much more doth the ministration of righteousness exceed in glory. Verse 11. For if, for if that which is done away was glorious, much more that which remained is glorious. You did benefit from this cargo before Jonah came. Yes. So it was glorious. Yes. But now that Jonah has come, something of more glory than, than what you had before mm -hmm. is now in our midst. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Verse 13. And not as Moses. Not as Moses. Which put a veil over his face. Which put a veil over his face. That the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. Yes. But their minds were blinded. Their minds. For until this day remained the same veil and taken away in the reading of the Old Testament. Which veil is to be done away in Christ? So they are still clinging. Some, some Jews are still clinging to the cargo. Apparently, they went back to the sea and picked up that cargo. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, this is amazing. Ah, the gospel is so good. Yeah, yeah. So let's go back to verse 15 of Jonah, of Jonah chapter 1. Let's yes. cover the, we, we'll just cover the crucifixion and the resurrection and then, We'll bring this sermon to an end. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, 
So they took up Jonah. So they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea. They cast him forth into the sea. Mm -hmm. And the sea ceased from her re, from her raging. And and we said that was a picture of Calvary. Yes. When Jonah says, Take me up, they mm -hmm. took him up. We covered this last time. Mm -hmm. They took him up. That was the picture of the crucifixion. When they threw him into the sea, they tossed him into the sea. Uh, he was that's when he was swallowed by by that uh, that big well. And, and, and we did see that that was the burial and, and, and his body uh, lying in the grave whilst the Lord goes down to the heart of the earth to preach uh, to the prisoners. We covered that. Verse seven, that was in verse 17 yes. of Jonah chapter 1. So yes. we are not going to read, to, to read that now. Let's go to uh, Jonah chapter 2 verse 10, yes. which, which portrays the resurrection. And the Lord spake unto the fish. The Lord spake unto the fish. And it vomited out Jonah it, it vo upon the dry land. It vomited Jonah upon the dry land. So Jonah was vomited mm -hmm. upon the dry land at towards Nineveh. Yes. He was vomited in Nineveh. Yes. And we said that was a picture of the resurrection. We covered that last time. Yes. Today I want to show you something else. And, 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 and here it is. Now, let us... Let, let us just briefly think about the mood and the atmosphere amongst the followers of the Lord when the crucifixion fiction happened. Luke chapter 24 gives us an idea of, of the mood and the atmosphere. Luke yes. chapter 24, uh, verse, verse uh, 18. Yes. And the one of them whose name was Clopas, Clopas answered and said unto him, He answered and said, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem? Stranger here in Jerusalem? And he has not known the things which are come to pass in the Do you not come know the things that have passed here? And he said unto them, What did he say? What things? What things? And they said unto him, Yes. Concerning Jesus of Concerning Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Which was a prophet, which might was a prophet, indeed and might word, indeed and word, before God and all the people. Yes, what happened to him? And how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death. They delivered the just one, the <laughs> innocent one, to be condemned to death. And they have crucified him. They have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he oh, which should have redeemed Israel. We trusted that he was going to redeem Israel from the Roman bondage yes and beside all this and beside all this today is the third day today, since these things were done today is the third day since they crucified him <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes and certain women also of our company made us astonished which were early at the sepulcher certain women came they were early in the sepulcher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and they astonished us these women yes they went to the sepulchre early. What happened with them? And when they found not his body, this is the atmosphere. They came saying, mm -hmm. and they, they came back saying that we found not his body. <laughs> yes, but they came saying yes. that they had not seen a vision. Uh, of, that they had that they had seen. They had a vision also, of angels. That they had also that, se seen that, a vision of angels. That they had also seen a vision yes. of angels, which said that he was alive. <laughs> <laughs> what they are saying, our problems are now worse. Mm. First, they condemned him. Yes. He was not to be condemned. But they condemned him and they crucified him. Yes. They buried him. Mm. It's been three days now. Mm -hmm. So once, once we are still, we, we are still with dealing with this, we are depressed, mm -hmm. we have anxiety, we are disappointed. Then the women come, they tell us even the worst news, that his body is missing in the grave. Mm -hmm. These people were hiding in fear and in doubt. Yes. That, is the, that is the atmosphere. Varum mariru, vambachiru visachema so. Yes. 
secondary <laughs> pastor. <laughs> and certain of them which were with us yes. went to the sepulchre yeah. and found it even so as the women had said. But him they saw not. Saka <laughs> too, two my apostle, whatever, what is one of my baga? Because baga is one of one of the one of the others. She and I mean more too, mono honor, but you have one of the chocolate issue. Qua Guya Vaga 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 Kunik. They were disappointed, depressed, and mm. now they are worse than when he was crucified. Yes. Mind you, these men, they, they missed the burial. Yes. They never attended the burial. <laughs> the burial never attended the vacas. <laughs> so, so that is the mood. Now, this is, this is what I wanted to show you. Mm. Those three days, we covered the three days uh, uh, last time that they, when the Lord spoke about the sign of Jonah. So we, 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 we covered that side, but today I want to show you the, the, the other side. This is the other side. Yes. The day one of the three days yes. was Friday. This is what Christians call the Good Friday. Mm -hmm. This is when he was tried. This is when they, they put a thorn, a, a, a crown of thorns mm -hmm. on his head, and they hit on that, on that crown of thorns so that the thorns could pierce his head. Mm -hmm. This is when they crucified him. This is when he died on the cross. He gave up his spirit on the cross. Mm -hmm. This is when they buried him. That is day one. Day number two, his broken body is lying in the tomb. The Lord, his spirit, has gone to hell to preach to the spirits that are in prison. But nothing much is happening. It's all quiet. But you must realize that fear and doubt has crept in into the believers. Mm -hmm. They don't know why this happened. They don't know what is happening. They don't even know what the end is going to be. They don't even know what they are, the future holds for them. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this? Mm -hmm. This is the end of day number two. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. day number three was coming. Then came the morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Then came the morning yes. of day number three. When the women went to the grave, they found the stone rolled away. Mm. This is the dawn of a new era. Mm. Morning number three changes everything that we know about worshiping God. Changes everything about salvation. Because the Lord is risen, the yes. stone has been rolled away. And mm -hmm. the angel says to them, why are you looking for the, for, for, for the, for the living amongst the graves? Yes. 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 He is risen. What mm -hmm. a difference one day makes. Yes. One day made all this difference. <laughs> the Lord is risen. Mm. Now the elect Jews can be saved. Mm. Now the elect Gentiles can be yes. saved. Now yes. there, is, there, there is salvation. Now there is forgiveness of sins. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. That is the power <laughs> of the resurrection. Yes. Yes. And so the Lord can now go and evangelize the elect Jews mm. and the elect yes. Gentiles. Yes. Because he is risen. Mm. You can ask me why I say that he is risen. I know he is risen because he lives in my heart. Yes. yes. He is no longer dead. Yes. He did die, but he was resurrected. Yes. <laughs> Galatians yes. chapter 2, verse 20. Come on, yes. come on, come on, go ahead. Yes. The Lord is risen. He is alive. Come on, Galatians yes. chapter 2, verse 20. Yes. I yes. am crucified yes. with Christ. Yes. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, right. but mm. Christ lives in me. Mm. Yes. If he lives in me, it means that he is alive. Mm. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God yes. who loved me mm. and gave himself for me. Colossians yes. 1 verse 27. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Colossians. <laughs> yes. To whom? To whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery yes. Am yes. among the Gentiles. Yes. Which is Christ in you. Which is Christ in the you. The hope of glory. Yes. Can you see that he is among the Gentiles? <laughs> yes. He is among the people of Nineveh. Amen. He is among the beasts of Nineveh. Yes. The dogs. And the <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Christ, Amen. which is in you, mm. the hope 
of glory. He mm. is risen. Mm. Chimira kutora marize chema, please. Mm. He is alive. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hebrews chapter 7, verse 25. Wherefore, he, he is, is able, able also yes, to save to them save. to the uttermost yes, yes. that come unto God by him, yes. seeing he ever liveth, seeing, to make intercession for seeing them. Seeing he yes. ever lives. Yes. He ever lives. Yes. He lives forever to make intercession for yes. them. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Ah. Yes. Uh, I've got, to, eh? I've got to bring yeah. this to a conclusion now. Yes. Uh, Pastor you wanted to say something. I wanted to read the scripture. I, before I conclude. I wanted to read the scripture yes. here. Uh, Revelation yes. chapter 1, uh, yes. verse 17 to 18 says, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. For I, for, for, uh, I am he that liveth. Yes. And was dead. Yes. And behold, yes. I am alive forevermore. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. And have the keys of hell and of death. <laughs> he is now alive forevermore. He is alive. Yes. He is not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> he had conquered death on yes. the cross. <laughs> yes. Don't death has lost life, has won. And this life is eternal. Yes. Mm. Life has won. Mm. Because death has lost. Amen. Christ is risen. This is the New Testament. Yes. This is a new dispensation. This is the dawn of a new era. Yes. Came, that's when the morning of the third day came. It changed everything. Yes. Everything. I mean, I mean, for us. So yes, you said uh, Jesus rose from the dead. Yes. That's when he conquered death. Yes. yes. So the one, who, the one who conquered death on the cross by rising from the dead. Mm. Is, is the one who is now abiding in us. Yes. Yes. So when he entered in us, mm. he also conquered death that was in us mm. and he delivered us from that death yes. and he brought us unto life. Yes. So we are never going to die. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are going ah, to die. Pastor, <laughs> uh, uh, pastor Murupi is a must <laughs> We are never going to die. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. What a savior. Yes. <laughs> so the, this someone was entitled the mystery of Nineveh, subtitled that the, the great city. Mm. Nineveh is called the, the great city. Yes. Jonah mm -hmm. chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. Jonah chapter 1, verse verses one. 1 and 2. Now, the, now word of the, Lord the word of the Lord came unto Jonah, came unto Jonah the son of Amittai, the son of saying, Amittai saying, Arise, Arise, go to Nineveh, go to Nineveh that, great city. that great city. Can you highlight that great city? Yes. Nineveh, that yes. great city. Nineveh, mm -hmm. that, that great city. city. So Jonah was sent to go to Nineveh, that great city. We know that in chapter 1, instead he went to Tarshish first. Yes. We have yes. seen the reasons why. Jonah chapter 3, verses 1 and 2. Yes. We want to, look at, to have a look at that great city. Now we are, to, we, are, we are looking at the mystery of Nineveh, that great city. Yes. Subtitle, the great city. Yes. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the, Lord the, of the Lord, second time, saying. The second time, what did it say? Arise. Arise. Go unto Nineveh. Go unto Nineveh. That great city. That great city. And preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So this is now after the resurrection. Mm. After Jonah had been vomited by the ship, by, 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 by the whale. Oh, yes. He is given the, the command the second time, arise, mm. go unto Nineveh, mm. that great city, mm. and preach unto it. Listen to yes. this. Mm. <laughs> Nineveh, that great city, uh, the mystery of Nineveh is found mm. in the book of Hebrews, chapter, chapter 12. 12, verse 22. Pastor, but you I are, love you, my brother. <laughs> but you have come unto Mount Zion. You have come to Nineveh, that great city. Yes. And unto the seat of the living God. <laughs> that great city is the city of the living God. It's called Nineveh. The heavenly Jerusalem. Is the yes. heavenly Jerusalem portrayed by Nineveh of the Old Testament? <laughs> and to an innumerable command of angels. In that city, there is a number of angels. <laughs> to the general assembly and the church of it's the firstborn. It's the general yes. assembly <laughs> of the church of the firstborn. Nineveh is a church. Yes. Go and read. <laughs> See, Clark, Nineveh is a church. Amen. And this is the church. Amen. <laughs> this is the church. 
church. Yes. Nineveh, uh, that amen. great city. Yes. This is the great city. Yes. The church yes. of the firstborn, yes. which are written in heaven, yes. and to God, the church of Paul, mm. and to the spirits of just men made, made perfect. perfect. Verse 24, verse. And <laughs> Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. There is Jesus, the mediator yes. of this New Testament. And the blood of sprinkling. He did that by the blood of sprinkling. That speaketh better things. It speaks better things than that, that, that of, of Abel. Abel. Amen. Amen. That is the mystery <laughs> of Nineveh, Amen. the great city. Yes. It's the New Testament. It is the kingdom of God. Yes. When scripture ah. says, when the Lord was saying, yes. the, 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 the kingdom of God is at hand. Mm. Yes. During his days of his flesh, he was talking about Nineveh. Amen. The great city. Amen. You are talking about the New Testament. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is the mystery of, the, of Nineveh. It's the great city of God. Yes. It's the New Testament. It's Amen. our stage. It's the stage. He then changed. He, he, he changed that tone and said, actually, the kingdom of God is within you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so that is the conclusion there. Yes. In conclusion, Nineveh is the great city the great of God. City of God. Mm. It represents the new, the, the kingdom of God. Ah. It represents the New Testament. Yes. <laughs> Colossians 1, verse 13. Yes. And 14. Come on, very quickly. Ah. Colossians 1, verse 13 and 14. Yes. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated yes. us into the, the kingdom, kingdom of his dear son. Yes. That is the great city. Yes. That is Nineveh, the great Amen. city. Amen. How did he do that? Who has delivered Verse, verse, verse 14, in whom we have redemption yes, through yes. his blood. Yes. His blood that speak better things than that of Abraham. Yes. Even the forgiveness of sins. Yes. Yes. The elect Jews were forgiven. <laughs> the elect Gentiles were forgiven. That's why the whole people of Nineveh, all of them were saved. Yes. Because of verse 14 of Colossians yes. chapter 1. Yes. The great city. <laughs> Matthew chapter 16 yes. verse 18. Yes. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18. Yes. The Lord did talk about these things, but we didn't pay attention. And I say unto thee, yes. that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Yes. And the guilt or guilt of hell shall not prevail against it. Mm -hmm. Highlight, I will build my church. Uh, he is talking about the great city there. Yes. He is talking about Nineveh. Yes. The Lord said, Muruwana, this Old Testament, Muruwana, the temple is. Muruwana, the master of the I ask my church, I. In in Chavaka, I church. <laughs> mm. 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 I will build my church. Yes. It's, it's going, to, going to be called the church of the firstborn. Yes. <laughs> In there, there will be innumerable company of angels. Yes. The Chawaka Nineveh in that great city. Uh, <laughs> in that city, I'm going to put uh, the elect Jews and the intellectuals. Uh, <laughs> and amen. I will call it the kingdom of God, God. which yes. will later translate into the kingdom of heaven. heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 3, verse 15. First Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Come yes. on, come on. And without controversy. Great is the mystery of God. God. Yes. Yes. God was manifested. No, let's, let's read verse 15. That's one that yes. I want. Verse 15. But if I tarry long, if yes. I tarry long, that thou mayest know how thou how, how thou oughtest to behave thyself yes. in the house of God. In the house of God. Yes. Which is the church. The great city. Yes. Which is Nineveh. the church of the living it, God. Which is the yes. church of the living God. Yes. The uh, pillar and ground. The of pillar the of the ground. Yes. This is the church that the Lord spoke about in Matthew 16 verse 18. Yes. That is the church. Mm -hmm. It's, it's mm -hmm. the city. It's the city of God. It's the yes. great city. Nineveh. Yes. That is the mystery of Nineveh. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11 is our last scripture. Uh, Verses 8. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11. Verse 8. Verse eight. Yes. By, yes. Faith, Abraham. By faith, Abraham, yes. Yes. when he was called yes. to go out into a place which he mm. should after receive for an inheritance, yes. obeyed. Yes. And he went out, yes. not knowing whither he went. Yes. By faith, he sojourned in the land of <laughs> promise, mm. yes. as in a strange uh, country, yes. dwelling yes. in tabernacles, in Isaac and Jacob. Yes. The hairs with him yes. of the same promise. Yes. Mm. For he looked for a city <laughs> which had foundations, <laughs> whose glory, builder glory, glory, and maker glory, glory. is God. Abraham. Oh. Abraham. <laughs> in, in Genesis chapter 2, <laughs> he was called by God. And yeah. God said, I'm going to, to show you a land. <laughs> Abraham. Hmm. Abraham took his wife, hmm. his household. He even took Lot with him. 
went to Canaan. When he got to Canaan, mm -hmm. as soon as he arrived, he said, Vanamangu, no one is going to build a house here. Yes. This is not the great city of God, mm. this one. Mahamuchi Karawa, you see, Muno. Mahamuchi Karawa, you see, Muno. Mahamuchi Karawa, you see, Muno. Mahamuchi Karawa, Mahamuchi Karawa, you see, Muno. Because in this city, I'm a sweet day. I'm going to know what I'm going to do. They look at my dead. Because he was looking for, for, for that great city, mm. the city of Nineveh, mm. the yes. church of God. The mm. church of the first point. He mm. was looking for the kingdom of God. Yes. The city which has foundations whose builder and, and the maker is, is God. God. Mm. The city which Jesus promised in Matthew chapter 16 mm. verse 18. That's yes. what Abraham was looking for. Mm. He could not find it. And he said, Ati wa kipana. Tunu karamatendi. Kushika. Tauna niniva. Mm. That great city. Uh, yeah. Of the elect Jews and the elect Gentiles. Yes. And that right there. Is the mystery of Nineveh subtitled that <laughs> great city? Yes, ah, they have found the. You need the team to find another map. Ah. <laughs> Does it show the great city? Uh, it just says Nineveh. Yes, it Nineveh, that, that great city, namely the capital of Assyria and home to 120,000 of Israel's enemies, as well as many cattle, also the mission destination of Jonah. Thank you, Mitya so team. Says, yes. Thank you, Mitya team. <laughs> That great, that city great city is Nineveh. Yeah. That is the mm. church of the firstborn, mm. the ground and the pillar of mm. truth. Mkoma mm. Edfri, we have come to the end of our sermon. <laughs> <laughs> what is the ending, am I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I was wondering how is this connected to that great city? And you know, we, we traveled quite a journey. Yes. Um, up to that point, then you would want to know. Why, what what is this great city here to do with with Jonah? But the way the way we we approached it in the scriptures, the way I didn't know that Hebrews chapter twelve would be such an icing on the cake. But uh, yeah. we thank God, am I? Uh, and it was like a naga chose. And uh, yes, indeed, we are in a great city. Even here, no naga utena. Yeah. <laughs> And you will see that when, 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 when God was talking to Jonah, he was always referring to that great city, mm. that great city. And you would wonder, what does that really mean? Yes. But now we, we now know what it means. Mm. It was referring to the New Testament. Yes. yes. So, yeah, we thank God. Am I? Uh, it was okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Mzimba, uh, your closing remarks, please. I really thank the Lord, uh, especially uh, for being made part of this uh, of this great city. Yes. <laughs> this is the city which was built by David. Yes. Uh, and it, he put it uh, up high there. Uh, when you come to the city of David, yes. you have to climb up, you have to ascend. You have to ascend. For you to go in to get <laughs> into that great city. Yes. yes. It's not just a city. It's a great city. It's a great city. Where <laughs> the great God abides. Abides, yes. <laughs> we read in the Lord. Uh, actually, I, 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 I've run short of words. I'm dry of words, actually, to describe the, the joy that I have yes. uh, from this message that, I've, that we have received. I've, I learned a lot of things concerning the mysteries of Christ. Yes. Indeed, the Lord is, is, faithful. is faithful. We have never learned. <laughs> Each time the Lord calls us, and makes us to sit down at his table to eat. We are definitely going to leave uh, uh, the tables uh, fully fed yes. with <laughs> these great mysteries of God. Amen. When I was looking at this issue of a great city, I was looking at this issue of a great city. And uh, I was looking at, the, uh, at, at Matthew chapter 5. Yes. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, Brother Edfrey. Yes. Uh, where can we start from? The Lord also mentioned about, it's verse 14. Yes. He says, you are, you the, are light. the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a high hill cannot be hid. A city ah. that was set <laughs> on a hill cannot ah. be hid. Yes. You see? It cannot be hidden. Yes. It's actually <laughs> visible to everyone. The great city. You can't hide it. You can't hide it. <laughs> and, 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 and 
my final scripture here is, is Revelation chapter 21. Yes. Probably may read verse, uh, verse 1 and 2, and then we jump to, to verse 9. Yes. Yes, verse 1 and 2, what does it say? And I saw a new heaven. And I saw a new heaven. And a new earth. And a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. When the new heaven and the new earth is come, obviously the first heaven and the first earth are no longer to be found. Yes. And there was no more sea. Mm. The sea is mm. not part of mm. the new heaven and the, mm. and, and, no. and the new earth. No. And I, John, mm. saw the holy city. And I, yes. John, saw the holy, ci <laughs> the holy city. Yes. yes. New Jerusalem. The holy city. That the great Jerusalem city. Is coming down from God. It out was of descending heaven. from heaven. From It was descending from heaven. Uh, from God out of heaven. Yes. yes. Prepared as a bride. So God is the source, is the origin of this yes. great city. Mm. <laughs> I don't, yes. But it had to descend from him down to, to the yes. earth. Yes. Prepared, yes. Prepared as a bride. Uh, it was for adorned for your husband. Verse number eight. Yes. <laughs> Verse but nine, actually. Yes. And there came unto me yes. one of the seven angels, yes. which had the seven vials yes. full of seven last plagues. Yes. And talked with me, saying, Yes, come hither, I will show thee the bride. Come here, I want to, I want to show you the, 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 the bride of yes. the lamb. Yes. The lamb's wife. Ah, the, this bride is the lamb, the, is the wife of the lamb. The lamb. Yes. yes. And he carried me away in the spirit yes. to a great and high mountain. He was carried to the, to the great mountain. Yes. yes. And showed me that great city. He was city. showed that great city. He didn't say the great city. Yes. That great city. That great city. That that city. <laughs> <laughs> he was very specific. <laughs> the holy that Jerusalem. Great this, that great city is the holy Jerusalem. Descending yes. out of heaven. Ah, from it God. descended out of heaven from God. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it is the ah, This level finally. <laughs> yes. Having the glory of God. Ah, uh, it was adorned with the glory of God. Yes. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. Ah, uh, I envy. <laughs> <laughs> I've been greatly blessed by this message, Pastor. The words of Pastor Mzimba have ended. <laughs> Brethren, we want yes. to thank God for His grace. We thank God for 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 the for, for the scriptures. We thank God for, for for the revelations. We thank God for Jesus Revelation Ministries. We thank God for the assignment of Apostle Teo Chiwenga. All these things have come through because of the grace of God. Yes, and uh, we want to thank Him. Thank you, media team. We love you. Thank you to the ministers who are uh, behind the scenes. We love you. We thank all the stewards that are working behind the scenes as well. We love you. And thank you, Mkoma Edfri and uh, uh, Pastor Mzimba. Is yes. 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 It's time for us to say goodbye. We've really enjoyed your, your participation. We've enjoyed your, your, your presence. We have enjoyed the, the presence of the Lord. We have enjoyed the gospel. Uh, but we are going to to wave goodbye, all the three of us here in the studio, we want yes. to wave goodbye to you at the yes. same time. Yes. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. This is Abonana Wazalwani.